Welcome to Applied Bionomics. This is our Del Fastus production system. We've been producing Del Fastus for about 25 years now. It was given to us by Lance Osborne at the University of Florida. Del Fastus is a native predator to Florida. It primarily is a white fly predator, little tiny black beetle. Uh, we've, as I said, we've been rearing it for about 25 years on tobacco on our greenhouse white fly system. And for many years, this product was an excellent product, but we didn't know where to sell it or who wanted it. For many, many years, we couldn't even give this product away. Uh, but despite the fact that we couldn't commercialize it successfully in the marketplace, uh, we never gave up on it, partly because this product is just an incredible predator for whitefly. In this production system, if we, if we don't constantly keep bringing in new whitefly on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, the plants, basically the beetles run out of food right away. So we knew right from the start this was an amazing predator for whitefly. The big question was, how can we develop it as a commercial product? It's, the main breakthrough, first of all, came through in cucumbers in the Netherlands. We did a trial at Howda in Howda at the Van Dyke greenhouse. And there we were amazed to find that even though we had been rearing it at that time for about 15 years on greenhouse whitefly, it has a preference for Bomycia, the, uh, the sweet potato or silver leaf whitefly. It went to all the hot spots there first, cleaned those up, and then it went after the greenhouse whitefly. We were using it down in California on the eucalyptus trees for the giant whitefly until the parasite showed up that took care of those. We've been using them on outdoor cotton in Texas for control of whitefly. Now, lately, we've been finally finding a home for it in uh, Gerbera and Cut Roses. Uh, this product is an amazing product for that purpose, for help knock down large numbers of whitefly. It's basically an egg predator, so it prefers the eggs. It goes after the eggs of all sucking insects, which includes aphids uh, and, and also includes the psyllids. And that was quite an amazing thing. We saw that it actually prevented psyllid establishment, but it didn't actually control psyllids once they had established. And most of that is because they couldn't really find or target the psyllids successfully. But as far as predation on and prevention on egg predation, it was very, very effective against the psyllid as well. So this product can be used in almost every situation. Because it's subtropical, it's not induced in it to diapause during low light winter conditions. And that was one of the main reasons why this product also became very, very popular with the poinsettia industry. The original thinking was that when the lights were turned down to develop the BRAC system uh, and bring the colors up that Del Fastus would keep working, which it actually does. But what we found was even more valuable for this product and despite the overwhelming industry suggestion that it needs high density is that it'll find single white flies. It's extremely effective as a predator and as a prevention. And so our main strength now in poinsettia is using this product as soon as the plants are safe enough to be used with, with biologicals. And I'm referring to the carryover of the chemicals that were used in the propagation stage in, the, in Central America or in Africa. Uh, once it's safe, usually by the mid middle to end of August or certainly by September, Del Fastus can go in and basically clean up any size white fly infestation in a poinsettia crop as well. So this is an amazing product. It works so well outdoors, it works well indoors. It keeps going until it's consumed all the white fly.